Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the Bates B-Series wire drive stapler, desk stapler that is. These, I'm not exactly sure when they stopped making them, probably in the 70s or so. But they were pretty amazing when I saw this, I thought it was pretty unique. I understand why they don't make them anymore because they're uh, complicated to load and expensive to manufacture and for a desk stapler you're just not going to spend that money it's really easy to use the preformed staples and hence the swing lines really became the standard but these things really are amazing uh, just due to their mechanics the fact that um, you get a lot of staples off a spool of wire this is the staples it uses brass wire it's 16 thousandths wire or 0.4 millimeter wire uh, and one nice advantage is you can use anything, you use silver or copper or gold or whatever kind of wire. Of course, it need to be alloys of the softer metals. Uh, I have to even be a copper alloy. Uh, to be strong enough to use as a staple, but still be much softer than the steel components. That's kind of the point, so that you can use this for a long time and not have the wire wear out all the parts. Although it is really well built. We'll get a little zoom in here. And so how it works is you have a coil wire, spool wire in the back, and it goes through um, a metering, uh, a little guide there. That's a little gap, and there's a little clip, and that's actually the ratchet. It goes through a little die. It's not a die. It's just a, f a feeder orifice that also contains the ratchet mechanism and it goes around this track whoop through to the front of the stapler and so what it does is it has a if you look up here there's actually a two stage action so it has a centerpiece and an outside piece the centerpiece is what cams this bottom section rearward that angle folds the staple over and then that top piece comes down and then cuts off the wire and the this little screw right here is the little cutting die. It's replaceable. Cuts it, folds the staple over, and then of course, once it's done that, then it drives it into a standard staple die, whether you want outward or inward facing. Let's do a quick staple of it. Here we go, and we'll zoom out just a little bit. Get it sideways. And it leaves a little narrow there, narrower. They're the narrow width staples. And it does just a. Uh, oh, we can't even see it on the back there. We'll do it this way this time. And it just does a beautiful job. And you have these wonderful little brass staples. So that was just a quick review and overview. Oh, I was going to show you the bottom. It has a mechanism to release the uh, wire tension in case it gets jammed. These absolutely will not take any kink in the wire, so if you have a kink in the wire, you'll have to cut it or get the kink out. Another thing is this instructions on the bottom really exemplify how difficult it was to load. And we'll just give you, see, there's a diagram, there's your wire, D, G, B, and K, there's the Model B. You do want to oil these. Whoop, here. And so those instructions, as you can tell, are actually pretty complicated. It's pretty surprising. So that was just a quick review of this gates. You know, this thing just lifts out and is a carriage that holds the spool. And obviously you can just get more brass wire and rewind it. Um, but I thought these were absolutely amazing. I'm going to see if we can't get a little shot of the stapling action up close here. We'll zoom back in some. So that comes down, starts to bend the wire. Get some light in there. See that? Oh, it's happened so fast. Once it's clipped the wire and it slams down, and then all you have to do is press it. And it's actually surprisingly easy to staple with. It's not even, it's really surprisingly smooth. So anyway, that's the Bates Model B wire drive office stapler. 
and just wanted to bring that to you guys. So if you ever see one of these, at least you know what it is. And they're really ha the handiest thing is the fact that since they're wire drive, um, you can choose what kind of materials you want to actually staple with, and that's always been kind of neat. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Catus Maximus, Catus Maximus out.